let's have a look at how to add an annotation in Google Analytics. So to do this, you need to be on the audience screen over here and select overview. And when you're there, you'll see this little drop down arrow and you can go over here, create new annotation. And the reason you would want to add an annotation is that something important happened with your website or your marketing that day. So for example, you might have launched your new website or you sent an email campaign or you sponsored a post in Facebook and you want to add a mark so that you can remember what date that happened because you remember it, you know, if it was yesterday, but in three months you're like, oh, what happened then? So a good example with this website, you can see a big spike in traffic here on the 7th of January. So I might go over here and set the date range and go 7th of January, I published an article. And that's why the big spike went up. Over here you can say if you want other people to see the annotation or if it's private and select save. And once you've done that, you can see this little speech bubble here. That's where the annotation goes. So when you look back later on, you can click on that. Let's just clear it away so that we're all fresh. Let's clear out the annotations, but you can still see the speech bubble here. You can click on it and you can go, oh, that's what happened that day I published an article. That's why that was that spike. So I just find annotations particularly helpful if you do set up conversion tracking, for example, which I'll show you in another video. Make a note, that's the day that that conversion started tracking. So anyone looking at your Google Analytics, if that's a shared annotation, can always find out what happened that made that change to your website and the analytics tracking that day.